and Simpson giving away both height and reach for this contest but quarter of a pound heavier at the weigh-in two years older Collins is 23 and something of a young hopeful whereas Simpson is considered a veteran despite his tender years Collins unbeaten in 29 contests Simpson four defeats in a long career as a professional despite his age Rudy Battle the appropriately named referee and the question mark here for Simpson is has his appetite returned for the game after that humiliation really against Hagler scheduled for 10 rounds Collins thinks that will be his destiny for a fight with Hagler in the not too distant future but he's got to beat Simpson here first Simpson giving away that five and a half inches in height but it's not deterred him in the past he's got a good record against taller fighters and you probably see him going for the body here Collins himself although he doesn't really look it can hit 27 stoppage wins Simpson going for the body straight away with that right hand punch there good jab too a deceptively useful jabber is Simpson when he's on form when his boxing's on form and he thinks he's got a challenge and his challenge here is that he's really expected to lose this one Collins the up-and-comer Simpson has his appetite return for the goal Another good punch goes in from the British fighter there. He's terribly disappointed when he lost in that manner to Hagler back in the early part of the year. Was going to make a comeback fight uh, in May against Bobby Watts at Wembley, but uh, he was injured. And this is his first fight since then, since the Hagler defeat. Nearly got the left hook in there. Good jab again from Simpson. And Collins, uh, his ploy clearly here will be to keep away from him if he can early on. Perhaps outbox him and come with a big punch later on. He got a right hand in there. But the better boxing coming in from Simpson in this early round. Slightly on top. Good right hand. Just caught Collins on the tip of his nose there. And I must say Simpson looking very sharp and very fit in this contest. Often a slow starter, but no signs of that here. Minute of the first round remains. Collins trying to open up now, but again it's Simpson's jab that lands. And Collins not really got too many effective punches in in this opening round. Very, very tall as you can see for a middleweight six foot one and now Simpson's caught him less than half a minute of the round to go and Collins in trouble here now big punches going in from Simpson's two left hooks and a good jab set him up there and now Collins will have to hang on here in this opening round he's in big trouble Simpson's jab goes in again and you see the head rock back and Collins in all sorts of trouble the up-and-comer being banged away to head and body there by Simpson. Those vicious hooks and not many middleweights in the world can stand up to that. And Simpson thinks he might have won it here. And the bell, I think, has saved him. The bell has saved Collins in the opening round. He would have beaten the count anyway. He's regained his composure. He knows where he is once again. But that was an awful first round for John Collins, the 23-year-old from Chicago. But what a wonderful round for Simpson. Let's just have a look at one or two of the punches that set him up there. What a jab that was. Rocked his head back. And then in came the hook. The right hook landed just round the back a little bit. And Collins did well to just avoid the full weight of it there. And uh, if Simpson had stepped back there for a moment and got a big hook in, I think it would definitely have been all over. Great first round for Simpson. Can Collins come back from that? Round two. Schedule for ten. Now, Simpson will be looking for an early finish here after that. And not many middleweights can stand up to his punches when he lands cleanly. And over he goes again, Collins, the right hand this time. And it may well be an early night here. Collins is all over the place. Referee giving him a count, asking him if he's OK. He seems to be. He's going to let it go on, I think. Round two. In comes Simpson again. And he's caught him again. And it'll surely be all over here. It certainly is. Collins is all over the place once again. The referee says no more. And Simpson wins in dramatic style here in round two.
Sibson proving that he's back. His boxing pride is restored. George Francis, his corner man these days on the right, delighted. And the world title aspirations for young John Collins down the drain. Stopped in the second round by the big punching Sibson. This was the first knockdown in the second round. Right hand did it. And Collins did well to recover from that. Let's have a look as he went and bowled all over the ring again. This time almost fleeing from the Sibson onslaught there. And the referee looked at that stage as though he was going to come in and stop it. And eventually did. Collins had no hope of recovery at this stage. Sibson was relentless, and that's a terrific win. Sibson's first fight since the Hagler defeat eight months ago. He's very much back, and the world's middleweights better look out, and that might even include Marvin Hagler if he gets another tilt at him.